Okay, hello um, and welcome to my um, first official vlog. You have to bear with me because I have lost my camera stand. So I've just kind of done like a makeshift one at the minute. Um, <laughs> so my camera's just kind of like resting on a few books. Um, so I thought today um, for my first vlog, I would discuss um, festivals and wearing wigs to a festival. Um, and I thought it would be appropriate today because, as you can see, I'm actually wearing my hair up, um, which hopefully I'm going to try and show you the back of. Um, now, what's absolutely great about me wearing this up is that I, my sister, because she's a hairdresser, luckily, um, she actually put it up for me on Saturday and literally it's been in ever since. Um, and to be honest, the messier it gets, the wispier it gets, the more real it looks. It just looks like anyone else's hair when it's up. So I thought it would be a good time to do this vlog because for a festival, obviously, if you wanted to put your hair up, it's just going to be totally out of your way and it's going to make life a lot easier. Um, but I mean, to be honest, you sh don't worry because you shouldn't let wearing a wig like influence anything that you do in your life like your hair loss should not affect you as a person and like what you actually want to do i have been to countless festivals and holidays and i change my wig all the time and to be honest i tend not to worry about it anymore because it's it's i i don't know well i am who i am hair loss has made me who i am and why not kind of take the good the good side from it, the positive sides from it. So yeah, so first of all, I'll, I'll show you the back of my hair. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. Um, it's just kind of like a really nice little updo. My sister has kind of like done some little French plaits here, if you can see it, which obviously is quite hard to do. Um, and then, yeah, well, just bear with me. So yeah, that's the back of it. Um, it's quite fancy. When she first did it, I felt like, um, I looked like I was going to a wedding. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna try and show you a bit better. There we go. You can probably see and hear my dogs in the background. There's no getting rid of them, I'm afraid. So wherever I am, they are too. Um, so yeah, so that's the first thing that you could think about doing. Um, to be honest, any good hairdresser, regardless whether you're wearing a wig or not, should be able to put your hair up for you. Um, my sister, I didn't even say what I wanted, she just did it for me. <laughs> she just went, right, let, it's really warm outside, let's just put your hair up and then you can just take it on and off as you please. So I think that that's quite a good one to do for festivals because it's going to be out of your way. Um, it feels really, really secure. There's about 7,000 hair grips in it. So that's one thing, like you can kind of grip it to any little bit of hair that you've got. And also you could grip it to your little wig cap as well. Um, that's what I do and it does feel quite secure. And also if your hair's up, you can wear a few more accessories. Um, so I would also probably have a look at different things like hair bands or head scarves. There's loads of different things like that out at the minute. Um, Zara has some really, really cute ones. Um, they're the kind of things that I'd probably take on holiday, say if I was going to go in the pool or something. You know, they're ideal for festivals. As you know, at festivals, everyone's wearing crazy, funky outfits. Um, so, yeah, you know, just get a headscarf, tie it around your head. And, yeah, well, I would show you exactly how, but um, I don't have any with me at the minute. Um, so, another few styles. Like I say, obviously, at festivals, people are a bit more out there. So, I've got my two wigs here, which I would 100% wear for festivals. Um, and that I would consider a, more of like an out there kind of funky style that would just really fit well. So, this is Tessa. You've probably seen me bang on about this wig loads before. Um, so, obviously, the curly style is perfect for that this kind of event. But the colour is just amazing. Um, some people call it, like, an ash blonde. or But, to be honest, it's grey. Um, and it's rooted as well. Um, and it's also got your monofilament top. So, um, I don't know if you can see there. So, obviously, it's still going to look real, even though you've got a different kind of colour. Um, but, yeah, if you do have a look through my past videos, you will see a review of this wig. Um, and you'll also, like, I don't know if you follow me on any social media, but you'll also see that I've, like, worn this to festivals before. I wore it to V Festival last year. Um, I also took it to Ibiza with me this year as well. So that's a really cool style. 
Um, one style as well. Now this isn't um this isn't a wig that I've actually purchased from Simply Wigs before. This is actually a hot hair one, um, which I just got in the sale once because I was feeling like I I was Kylie Jenner or something. Um, <laughs> so yeah, this is blue and pink, and it's a bob. And I, you know what? I've not even worn this properly out before, but the perfect opportunity would be to wear it at something like a festival like that. Um, so yeah, like I would always. If you are confident with your wigs, if you really want to take advantage of the positive sides to it, then I would 100% go ahead and, and purchase a wig, which is a little bit different, maybe something that you wouldn't wear on an everyday basis. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'd, what your biggest concern is probably at festival is it staying on. But to be honest, it's just like any other day. I mean, yeah, you're going to be dancing a little bit more, you might be a little bit more sweaty, but... Um, I have done a few blogs before on securing your wig with wig tape or glue. Um, so I would definitely look into those options. I would definitely have a read. They are on the Simply Wigs website. Um, if you are going to be camping at a festival, um, just try not to stress about it. At the end of the day, your tent is your personal space. And that is where you can change your wig and where you can feel comfortable. Don't worry about anyone else. Just pack a couple with you, wrap them in a towel, wrap them in some clothes and, you know, you could already have them styled, you could already have them put up but just in your bag and then you can change that um, in your tent. Um, or perhaps if you wanted to go a bit crazy and you actually wanted like a glitter party, I know they're quite a big thing at festivals, I would opt for using a, perhaps an older wig, get it put into a style so it's up and then have some glitter going down the party. Um, that way, obviously, you can get into the festival vibes, but you also know that you're not going to destroy, not destroy, but you're not going to ruin um, a, a brand new wig that you've just got. So those are my general tips. I mean, to be honest, like I said, I've been to numerous festivals. I've never really had any issues. Um, when I was younger, I did used to camp at them. And to be honest, it depends who I camped with. I have slept in wigs before, depending on who I'm comfortable with. Um, but a good option at night, just take a hat. Um, that, you know, even if anyone was to then see you in the morning or anything, you're wearing a hat then, they're, they're genuinely not going to know. Everyone knows that at night at festivals, it does get cold. So it's quite a good disguise for you. And obviously it's going to keep your little head warm as well. So I definitely recommend taking a hat, um, like a woolly hat at night. Um, for like obviously when you're sleeping but also you can always like think about taking a hat, hat to wear for, through the day wear a cap wear a big fedora hat i'm sure i've got one somewhere um i'm trying i think trying to look around my room now to see where i've put it <laughs> um so there are totally loads of different things that you could do another option if you didn't want to camp and you were really feeling the pressure about your wig um what I do nowadays, just because I find it a lot easier and I am probably quite high maintenance and I like being able to have a shower, um, I actually stay in a hotel near the event and I'll perhaps just get a one day ticket or a two day ticket and I'll go each day. Like That's quite a nice idea because you probably, to be honest, you probably save money on your festival ticket but you can also go home at night, take your ego, sleep in peace, sleep in the warmth and then obviously shower in the morning and you've not had to worry about your hair so sorry i'm really sorry about my dog barking <laughs> coco um <laughs> so yeah um but that those are my general kind of tips and, and views for wearing a wig at a festival um i hope they've kind of helped you feel a little bit more comfortable or maybe answered some of your questions but if you do have some questions um you can contact me through simply wigs you can contact me on social media or you can drop a comment below so yeah um i hope that has helped you and also if anyone does have any questions um about obviously the hair up style that i've got Again, feel free to ask, but I am going to get my sister involved. She also has alopecia and she wears a wig too. So um, I think we're going to do a vlog on it, doing hair up. I'm going to get her to style it. Um, so hopefully that'll be quite nice um, for you all to see. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it and thank you for watching. Bye.